Hello, welcome to my channel, Irish Donna Tarot. We're getting ready to do a love reading for Aquarius. Ooh, look at you, you Aquarius. The lover's card, beautiful. The magician card. <laughs> All right, manifesting. You've already had the lover. Now you're up to manifesting a future with a lover. Aquarius, look at you go. Go, girl. Go, guy. <laughs> oh, you are smoking hot right now. You are letting go of old burdens. You have found your balance. You are on your way, like stairway to heaven. You want the relationship, the divine relationship that you deserve, Aquarius. Very lively reading here for you. All right, Aquarius in love. What is going on? What's the hidden energy? Ooh, fun. Eat, drink, and be merry. All right, you're letting, Spirit is saying, let go of your worries. And Aquarius, here you are in your own reading. You are off to a new beginning. We have the, the other cards that fell out here are, somebody from the past is now history. You're walking towards the future. You're going to watch your heart, but you're ready for an offer. All right, so let's take a look and see what the clarifiers are. All right, so what do we have for a new lover for our Aquarius friend? You just had the new moon in Aquarius, so Aquarius, you are fired up. This new moon will have an impact on your life for well over two years because Saturn is going to go retrograde forward and backward. Four of Cups. Okay, so right now you're sort of entertaining yourself and enjoying your life and you're looking for a lover. That lover does not appear to have shown up yet. You are open to meeting somebody via the internet. You might be looking at profiles on dating sites. Ooh, look at you. You are ready to have fun. You're a bit of a wild child right now, Aquarius. Look, look at this. We have the magician <laughs> twice. The Magician clarifying the Magician, and the Magician means it's Virgo and Gemini energy, and it really means that you're using your capacity for communication to solve a problem, to get a lover. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for you, Aquarius. You have a lot of fire in your belly. Ooh, wonderful. Beautiful. Okay, why do you have the Three of Wands here? What ship is coming in? And your viewpoint, what do you think is happening? Well, you don't know yet what the ship is in. You don't see what ship is coming in yet, but you are going to circulate, have fun with friends. You could be open to friends with benefits, but I don't actually think that that's very likely to remain the case. It looks as though you're going to manifest a much deeper love, a soulmate connection. Look at you, you're giving up the burdens. You are just keeping your options open. You have a lot of options. You're going to keep options until you find the perfect partner. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at this. Hierophant, Hierophant. So you're very much wanting long-term committed relationship, but you're very, very dedicated to the idea that it should be fun. <laughs> I like it. All right, let's see what we have. Nine of Cups, why is it here? You do want to eat, drink, and be merry. You just want to have joy and happiness. And what is clarifying that? Well, you went through a really rough time. Look at that. Somebody came in and gave you some really bad news. Something that made you just feel as though the world had come to an end in some sort of way. Spirit is saying take time to grieve. But the Spirit is also saying to see the dove and to see the gift in this. Yep. It was, if you, if this situation had not happened with somebody from the past, you would have eventually left them behind anyway so it's sort of that you know that feeling that spirit has uh, preserved you that has spared you a lot more pain for the future you are going to cut anybody out here libra you are in your reading look at this i'm sorry i said libra it's aquarius i just did libra's reading 
but it, what we see here is a Libra queen. We see justice, which is Libra energy. So there could be a lawyer involved here. This is definitely the card of the ninth house. The Hierophant card also is Taurus energy. But we have you being willing to cut anybody out of your life that doesn't really align with your values, your principles, your philosophies. You know, whether it be what you believe religiously or politically or, you know, just your outlook on life. You want somebody who's aligned with you. You don't want anybody who's really radically different from you because you feel like you're radically different enough. So you would like somebody who's in alignment with your value system and you will not uh, align with anybody who doesn't have the same goals as you do, which would eventually be having a look at this. Oh my gosh. That, <laughs> that, that leaves me speechless sometimes when I pull the cards. But what we're seeing here is that, again, the justice card, the justice card, a legal matter will be resolved very much in your favor. It also looks as though when I get the justice card, I get the marriage work, you know, the marriage paperwork. So it's like the justice card is the initiation of a legal agreement. Seventh house, a Libra energy, that's a house you rule. So you will not really hang out with anybody Anybody, unless they're an amazing lover and you're having a lot of fun with them unless they're on the same page with you about how they feel about marriage and life in general all right so now let's go and get the energy of let's get the energy of a lover that you have in mind or that you are for whom you are interacting Libra let's see who is Libra interacting with I'm sorry, I said Libra again. Oh my gosh. You may be involved with a Libra in the near future. So Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. This is the Aquarius reading. Okay. So let's see here. Aquarius, what do we have? You really want balance though. That is the message there. Spirit is like pounding it into the reading and into me and I hope not into you. All right, so what do we see here for Aquarius in love with this lover's card? Your lover and their reaction, they are walking right over to you. So your person is making their way to you slowly but with certainty. This may be somebody that you worked with is likely to be someone who's very practical, very down to earth, but sexy. All right, the devil card reversed, I love it. So, no toxic energy for you. Your person is coming in as someone who brings everything. It's a very good manifestation and that your person sees you as someone who uh, they trust, you know? The reversal of the devil card is a good energy. Sometimes we like to see reversals, and that is a good one. Somebody's going to pursue you hot and heavily and very quickly, and I would say probably within the next month. That is Gemini energy. So when the whenever you have an air sign month, it looks like you're gonna have you're going to have a lot of people pursuing that you this year. For those of you who don't know, which I think is everybody, I am starting an astrology, I'm going to start doing astrology love classes on how to meet your person and how it works. So, FYI. The Six of Pentacles was reversed. So in the past, you left behind somebody who did not have reciprocity with you, who did not give to you equally, who really did not take you as seriously as they should have. They kept their options open. Let's see what we have here for the heart space of the person who you're interested in. Three of Swords. Okay, so your person is broken hearted. It could relate to the fact that the two of you may have broken up, but maybe not. Okay, we see this person throwing caution to the winds, but you're in hanged person mode. Um, so we're not really getting any action here, although there's a desire. It's like, I'd really like to throw caution to the winds with Aquarius, but if I look at this from a different perspective, and it's Leo energy, maybe I shouldn't do that. All right, so let's see what the energy is here for. The fun that you want to have and the sadness that was sort of rained down upon you. Why is this here? 
Okay, so again, I got this energy twice, right? We've got Page of Swords, Page of Swords. You are very much mirroring a partner. However, what I'm seeing here is that what's hidden is that your partner is looking you up. I mean, they're trying to find you on the internet. The person for whom you have interest is also trying to find you. They're tr trying to spy on you. How do they feel about, what's, what is Spirit going to tell your person of interest? Spirit is telling your person of interest. Eight of Wands. Make love all night long, person of interest. Be sure you're up to the job with Aquarius. Aquarius needs a very good companion. And we have the Eight of Wands. So Aquarius, you want a soulmate, but you'll take a Knight of Wands in the interim. It's okay. Why does Spirit say that you should leave something alone or your partner should leave something alone? Yeah, moving away. Okay, so one of you will be moving. You both may be moving. So you may move to a different neighborhood and find somebody who also has moved to a neighborhood, a new neighborhood, and that's Aquarius Energy. What's the outcome of you meeting this person? What is the outcome of you coming in with this energy of your soulmate, which is Gemini energy? Seven of Swords. It hasn't happened yet, but somebody is trying to figure you out. You know, normally I'd call this stalking energy because it looks very stalking. And then when we get the Page of Swords, it's pretty innocent. So what I'm seeing is somebody is sizing you up, Aquarius. Somebody is sizing you up for a new love relationship. And you're open to new love. You want a new love that is on the same page with you. But you're not opposed to just having a lot of fun in the meantime. So let's go ahead and clarify this uh, Three of Swords here. Why do we have the Three of Swords here in the heart space of the lover that Aquarius has on their mind. Page of Swords, again, we're trying to figure out what this person is doing. We have the Page of Swords three times. Why is this person heartbroken? Why is this person heartbroken? The Emperor Energy. This person is um, heartbroken because somebody who they feel rules over them basically told them to follow a different path and they listened. Ace of Wands. So it, that could be a father figure, it could be a boss, it could be a friend. Somebody that they trust a lot has given them advice that has actually hurt you as well as them. Four of Swords, they're trying to heal from it. So it's not that often, I think, that Aquarius, that... Low battery. Low battery. Low battery. <laughs> Everything in my house talks, including me. Okay. Um, what I'm seeing here is that the person that you really have been in love with in the past, someone that you're walking away from, caused a brokenhearted situation because of advice they took from someone they thought was older and wiser, and now they're heartbroken because they realize it was a bad decision. Well, you know, onward and upward with Aquarius. Here you go, Ace of Swords, you see the truth for what it is. And Five of Pentacles, you're leaving them alone. You're just leaving this person in the cold. So Page of Cups, all the king's horses and all the king's apologies can't put this relationship back together again. Page of Pentacles, this person's going to come at you. And we've got Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups. You know, they're really going to try to come at you and try to convince you. Page of Wands, so we've got all the pages. This person's going to try to come and make you an offer and you're going to go, yeah, you know, it's okay. I'm fine over here. I'm just playing a little Cirque du Soleil waiting for my date that's coming in on a steed. Uh, somebody who's a hot lover. Somebody who's on the same page with me. <laughs> oh, redemption is yours, Aquarius. All that Libra energy. You either have a really good Libra friend or you have somebody who is helping balance, but you found your balance in this situation, a situation that was crushing and shocking and difficult for you. 
Eight of Pentacles, you're getting to know all about the future and almost like a new, you're learning a new way of thinking about your future. But look at it, it looks like she's by the ocean. You know, it's some beautiful, it almost looks like Cuba. Like, you, you know, she's standing here in this very beautiful building and you look out, the, the sky is here, the water's here. Looks very gorgeous. It looks like Havana to me. And it looks as though you are learning all about what makes you happy. And when you let go of things, things work out really well. The death card. Yep, you are finished. You are finished. Officially finished with somebody from the past. Let's see what the whispers of love have to say for you. You have new love coming in. Look at that lover who tell us something about this magician slash lover's card so i do think it's somebody with gemini virgo combination energy i do think that they have a magician quality about them i do think that they could also have taurus in their in their chart and libra okay so we'll see all right so the advice is love endures love does not give up on or is lost on faith Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that somebody from your past is still going to be in love with you. They're still going to pursue you. Love is not going to die off for this person. But according to the reading, you know, that I'm seeing in front of me, I see that this person has been toxic so many times. You are able to flip that energy on its head for yourself. You are able to find your balance. You did your grieving. You let go of the burden and now you are on to a whole new life with new opportunities and you're not going to talk to this person when they come rushing in you know and so whispers of love have for you receive and love appreciation receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love so Aquarius you are on a new adventure in love I think it's exhilarating I think it's a beautiful time for you let's see if we can get any more information though oh look at the bottom of the deck oh hostilities oops deceit and hostilities that's this person no wonder you're not going to talk to them no wonder you're pulling Cirque du Soleil that you know all of this heartbreak all of this kind of craziness this lack look at this is where you're at the Sun card again could be Leo energy you have walked away you have been healed. You have somebody coming in thinking, man, if that doesn't describe a Virgo, I don't know what does. Look at this door to romance and door to personal healing and happiness. And look at this, the world card closing out the cycle. Thinking woman. <laughs> and I get the woman holding a coin. Look at that rest and rejuvenation. There you go. So it looks like you are off to a beautiful new beginning. Aquarius, thanks so much. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Make comments on the video. You know, it really helps for me to, to know if the messages are getting out to you. Take care. Bye-bye.